Hello everyone. So this is a series of practical use of Git in our day-to-day -day development. So in this series, we will be talking about the fundamentals and the hands-on practical Git use scenarios. Uh, before we move ahead, let me introduce myself. I'm Chirag Goel, UI engineer at Flipkart, and you can find me in any of the digital platform like Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, Insta, or any other by just searching by engineer Chirag as in handle name. And uh, okay, so uh, we, in the Git fundamental, mostly we'll be talking about what is Git, how Git works, how to set up Git in different operating system. And then what are the most used Git commands as in fundamental Git commands. Then we'll be talking about what, are the, what is the cheat sheet in terms of where you can find all the Git command in a single place. And then we'll be talking a bit about the Git internals and how Git actually manages it. Once we have covered the fundamental in one of the session, in the, from the next session, we will be covering the hands-on Git. So what are those questions we are going to uh, cover? What are the problem statement we are going to cover is this. So first, so from the basics like how to set up a, a Git project, it may be a, your existing project, how to make a Git project. So that is the first session all around. So doing your day to day uh, project development on the Git that will be covered in the first one. Uh, the second, so what is the different ways to manage your big functionality or big team in terms of uh, what are the branching strategies available inside the Git and how to work on those multiple features using the Git branching concept. After that, we will be talking about uh, what are like there are certain scenarios where you don't want to track certain files, right? You don't want to push a certain file, maybe environment files, some credentials files you don't want to push on GitHub, right? Remote. So, how to avoid tracking of certain files? So, after that, in the fourth session, we'll be talking about uh, resolving conflict while merging. So, considering example, multiple developers are working on the same. Uh, files or you can say same uh, uh, piece of code in that particular case it's very obvious to get some conflict and uh, we will be learning how to resolve that conflict in the fifth session we'll be talking about if there is certain uh, piece of code which is already available in some other branch as in term of commit how to pick that particular commit and work on your particular uh, existing uh, feature branch in the section sixth session we will be talking about uh, uh, how to how to move to a new branch when you are actually working on some feature so consider example you are working on some feature and it is not full and final and you don't want to push that feature uh, functionality or piece of code to the remote in that particular case how to switch to a new uh, branch altogether and work on the different section so this is a practical use case when you are working on something and suddenly you get some uh, production bug and you want to switch to the master branch and you want to get the fix done on that particular thing but you don't want to commit the existing code or you don't want to lose the existing code so how to do the, those things in the seventh section or the session we will be talking about uh, diagnosing the breaking commit so consider multiple developers are working on multiple features right and suddenly you find like you took a pull from the remote and suddenly you find there is something which is breaking how to find out which commit is actually causing this particular breaking uh, breaking you can say change so all those things we'll be talking about in the diagnosis uh, session and after that in the eighth session we'll be talking about uh, consider example there are multiple people working on uh, your uh, code base and like which happens in practical uh, big projects uh, in that particular case you want to identify who have written this particular piece of code or who have written this particular file in those, those all those scenarios will be it uh, covering in this particular eighth session in the ninth, uh, ninth session we'll be talking about day-to-day -day, uh, you can say development challenges in terms of when to rebase and when to merge so uh, accidentally you have uh, you can say give, give a commit message which is not intuitive enough you want to rename you have pushed something on the remote which you don't want to push into the particular branch so how to handle those scenarios all of them we are going to cover in this after that will be more uh, towards the project planning and the management like people are working in the agile fashion so how you actually can manage your milestones and uh, in the last session you can uh, we'll be discussing about how you can actually plan your releases as well so uh, these all things will be covering in this session and uh, that's it uh, this was the intro uh, for the series which we are going to start from here and uh, don't forget to subscribe uh, on this channel so that you can follow up with all the good things which are coming in this particular uh, channel thank you